Hi, I'm Mal and welcome to Mini Model Makes. Today's video, I'm going to go through how I recently painted Frakey and Gary, the Wolfkin of Russ. I'll go through all the paints that I used and the techniques that I used uh, to, to break up the wolves and, and show you exactly what I've done on my models. Um, firstly though, uh, I had some feedback recently about my videos and um, the person giving me the feedback will would like to remain anonymous and that's fine but thank you very much for your tips and um, they've helped me out which is great and um, hopefully moving on with these videos I can do some more of what you said because it was all really good advice okay so let's move on to the wolves themselves Frakey and Gary or is it Gary and Frakey I'm not sure I think this one's Frakey uh, the Wolfkin of Russ I was already part way through painting these when I actually started to do YouTube videos um, and in a way these were kind of the inspiration for me to do a YouTube, YouTube videos because I was searching on YouTube to find a really good colour scheme for these two uh, lovable chaps and couldn't find one now pr probably it's me but uh, I, no one had really done kind of an in-depth talk through of them um, let alone anyone painting them with a brush uh, so I had to come up with these but these paint schemes myself uh, really easy to do um, the they're absolutely beautiful models they uh, come with some prosperine themed bases uh, originally as as part of the kit um, but it doesn't suit my space wolf army my space wolf army is based with snow and rock so Ross and his two wolves kind of stood on sandy pyramids would uh, definitely not fit in so I have done the the snow bases which are in one of my other videos uh, I, I really do like to base my marines as if they're on the home world which seems strange because they wouldn't really be fighting on them but my space wolves are snow based, my blood angels are a, a radiated desert, a, you know, red sand sort of based. My thousand suns that I painted were on Prospero bases. So I'm kind of very cliched like that. But I'll, I'll talk through uh, these wolves and, and the colour schemes I use now for you. So, uh, Freaky's first. He was sprayed Mechanicus Standard Grey. I then picked out, excuse me, I'll get a brush as a pointer. I picked out the areas along his back here and down the top of his tail um, with null oil. Um, if you look at pictures of animals and wolves in the wild, they, they kind of get this dark area first and then it goes lighter as they move towards the belly and the paws. So I wanted to really replicate that. After the null oil, it was then a dry brush of Dawnstone coming down the flanks of the actual wolf itself. And then it was Administratum Grey over the sort of fine pore areas and, and these lighter edges uh, along sort of the rough and his underbelly and things. Then to, to tie it all in a bit more naturally, I gave it a wash of 50-50 uh, Agrax Earthshade and Lamian Medium. Uh, it really did help blend this model in and make him look a lot more natural. I uh, then gave it a very, very faint dry brush of uh, Pallid Witch Flesh around sort of the main fur areas and a bit under the belly just to, to tie it in a touch more. Um, the mouth uh, and gums I painted Acadian Flesh Tone. I then used Caraber Crimson to, to sort of stain that area and give it that pinky tinge. And then uh, picked out uh, raised areas of the gum and the tongue with Empress Children. Um, which tied it in nicely. The teeth were done in uh, Xandry Dust. 
then Agrax Earthshade, uh, Screaming Skull and Pallid Witch Flesh finally to pick them out, make them a bit more white. The eyes were simply the, excuse my arm there, Avalon Sunset. And I don't know if I can zoom in on this guy. Oh, really blurry. Let's wait for it to catch up. But I have picked out the eyes with uh, the pupils with some um, Abaddon black. I was feeling brave and, and went for the eyes on these guys. Uh, it really does um, make them stand out that little bit more. You know, they're, they're, they're a bit more special on the tabletop, especially accompanying the Primark. The leather straps that are adorning them are XV88, an Agrax wash, and then Baylor Brown over the top. The teeth I do the same as, as the actual teeth on the wolf. The little gems are picked out with Retributor armor. Then it's Stormhost silver on the actual gem parts, and I use the, the technical paints so. Um, the greens are waystone green, you can use reds which is spirit stone red and soul stone blue and they go, go over that storm host silver base and, and make them shine quite nicely. A little highlight of um, Sycorax bronze uh, around the, the edge of the gold areas just, just to make them stand out a little bit more. The, the little sort of rune stones I do on his neck, um, it's how I would do 40k space wolves just to make it different. It's a bit of fang to begin with, uh, a rust grey layer over the top of that, then an Agrax Earthshade wash into it, and then a little bit of a highlight of Fenrisian grey just to pick out the edges, just to make the, the rune stones sort of look a little bit magical. Um, and, and stand out from, from the grey of the actual uh, wolf itself. So that's Freaky, pop him to one side. I've now got Gary, who um, all his little accoutrements, his, his teeth and, and gems are done exactly the same. I've gone with a darker, more, more natural um, European wolf kind of scheme. Uh, there's a local zoo near us and um, they have some Iberian wolves. They're absolutely beautiful animals but it struck me how brown they actually are instead of grey. So this is how I paint a lot of my fur pelts. I do have a video on painting fur so please uh, go and watch that. Um, it'll explain where, and I'm actually painting the pelt. It'll actually explain the the thought processes and and show you firsthand what I'm doing with these wolves. Um, but this chap gets um, well, it was a Mechanica standard grey undercoat. Just just spray them the same, but I use Steel Legion drab over the the full model. Uh, after that, it's he's got a bit of Rhinox hide on onto the top. Again, think about the top of the tail, the, the areas around the, the, the top of the legs here, the shoulders going down the head. You, you want them to look darker and, and to get that natural light progression throughout um, the wolf to kind of make him, you know, is, is a creature of nature, try and make it as natural looking as possible. I then used um, my Agrax over the, the top of it to darken it down um, with a little bit of the null noil. The null noil goes right sort of down the middle a tiny bit and then the agrax either side of it just darkens it up a bit. It's then uh, Bane Blade Brown going down to Karak Stone at the pores down here so, so it's naturally working lighter. What I then did it was give it a 50-50 wash of Agrax with the Lamian Medium all over the model and it helps tie everything in again and give it a bit of a blend. A little bit more Null Noil around the top of it as well, around, around this rough on his back. See his little gem there. 
just picking out the faces just use the uh, Karak stone around these edges just to lighten it up and some of and black on the nose the scar he's got some scars you can just sort of see them below the brush there um, the scars I picked out with oh, screamer pink just just to get into those areas and then um, the caribou crimson goes in there and then the final bit is I dry brush the model all over again with the uh, pallid witch flesh which sort of raises up those areas picks them all out and it, it picks out the scars and makes them stand out quite nicely on the the wolf as well and that is essentially how I painted the two wolves the uh, pretty much ready to go I just need to give them a spray with a uh, matte varnish and they will be done and they're ready to go in, uh, in my display alongside the Primark really enjoyed these models really well detailed absolutely lovely um, so I went to town on them and gave them you know the attention they deserved um, really recommend every Space Wolf player getting these chaps what I will do now is I will um, get my little rotating turntable and I'll take some proper shots with these um, lined up rotating round in a, a little bit of a gallery format so you can uh, get the benefit of looking at them properly without me sort of fudging my fingers all over them and holding them for a camera. Okay then guys, I will uh, get back to you shortly. So there we have it, that's how I painted the Wolfkin of Rus. Freki and Gary are now ready to join their master in slaying the enemies of the Emperor. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share. I'm still a relatively brand new channel, so it'd be nice to get some coverage out there and some more subscribers. I also have started a Facebook page um, called Mini Model Makes. I will put that up now so you won't have to see this face by the magic of television. Hopefully it's on there. Um, if you would like to join that page you can send in pictures of the models that you've painted you can give me some tips in there as well um, and uh, if you want me to go through any lessons on anything please put it in there so I can read it and I can see if I can get around to doing that for you uh, as I say I hope you enjoyed this video that's it for now um, also what I'll do is I'll put in the paints I used in the description below with some hot links so if you could be good enough to use those hot links to go to Amazon if you're going to buy anything um, I basically I get a little kickback from Amazon for using that and with me being a new channel I need a few people to buy something so I can carry on being an Amazon affiliate which would be great um, and that's it really uh, we'll do some more videos soon bye for now take care and good hobbying